Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first and possibly last episode of Peanut Complains in a Car, where basically I turn on a camera sitting in my car and then I yell about things that bother me. So episode one and maybe the last episode, school. Now I am in 12th grade, okay? I have got I have run the gauntlet of school and my general conclusion of what I've uh, experienced is it sucks. So today, if any, you know, administrative school board directors are watching this, as you know, that's probably what they would be doing on a Friday afternoon, watching Orange Peanut, as you know, that's what I would be doing. If any of them are watching this, listen to me, because as someone who has gone through it, as they say, I can help you not suck. I can help school be a lot better of an experience, because as we know, I am all knowing. Before I start this glorious rant, um, I just want to say a little disclaimer. This does not mean drop out of school. I, you know, throughout, even through this YouTube channel, I still have maintained pretty good grades and I am going to college. I'm not saying that this is, can be an excuse for you to like, you know, just slack off, say, oh, school sucks. I'm just gonna, you know, not do it. Um, nah, still do it because, you know, you kind of have to just so you can like not be homeless but uh, yeah, just that's just, that's my only disclaimer is don't use this video as an excuse to drop out or anything because, you know, stay in school. Uh, anyway, let's begin the rant. So the overarching theme of this video is that school does not prepare you for the real world. And I'm going to split this into three different sections. The first of which is the lack of business teaching in school. So I read somewhere that 50% of all college degrees and like 50% of all jobs involve business. So what you guys want to explain to me why it's not necessary, or at least in my school, it wasn't, it's not necessary to take business classes. Like they make it, they literally make it required that you have to take three sciences, biology, chemistry, what, what was the last one? Physics. You got to take all, you have to take all those. I got to learn about hydrochloric acid and Newton's laws of gravity. Meanwhile, they're not teaching me how to pay taxes or, you know, run a business or market or anything. It's like, yeah, that's that you can figure that stuff out in college. Like you, 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 the, the, the whole point of high school and all school in general is to be preparing you for college and beyond. So why is it that all the necessary stuff in school is like not going to prepare me for anything? I was literally sitting in my anatomy class learning about all the different like bone structures. And I'm like, when am I going to use this? Like, it's just, it's, it, it bothers me that they're focusing on the wrong stuff. Like, I understand if you want to take like, I don't know, freshman year of high school, you make it necessary to teach, te to, uh, learn like all three of the physics like in one class you just do like the basics of each one and then if you like those then you can take the more advanced ones later on but it's optional that's what i'm saying like unless you're going in to be a neurologist or a, some sort of scientist of sorts you are gaining absolutely nothing by learning about like in-depth physics chemistry or biology so um it just it just unrules me that the things oh yeah and another thing Four years of, of like, um, reading English language, language arts, whatever you want to call it. It irks me beyond my bones that I have to read, like, 24 pages of Shakespeare to prepare my, not, not 24, like, 240 pages of Shakespeare. And this is supposed to, like, prepare me for life. Like, what, what, what the hell, what realistically are you accomplishing by having me read freaking Gregorian chants? in high school like it, it doesn't make sense to me if you want if you want to have the best shot at preparing people you know for like classes that they're probably going to do in college and jobs that they're probably going to have then you should have more like realistic like classes you know what i mean like enough of the B like enough of the bs of like be things that barely matter in life like i get if you're going to be a scientist if you want to be a scientist or a doctor or whatever something like that then you can take those classes but that's what college is for that's when you take the actual classes that are going to pertain to your job like why are they making everything all of the science stuff so necessary in high school if most people aren't even going to use it it just makes no sense to me. Part two, the reliance on grades as measuring a student's, or I shouldn't even say the reliance on grades because I think grades are a good way to like culminate a person's ability, but the lack of like wholeness in the grades, like the grades are always just like tests, projects, and homework are the only ways that's going to measure how good of a student you are. Like, no, 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 especially in these icky, icky, icky COVID times where a lot of p students are online. It is so easy to cheat on a test to get your grade higher than it should actually be. Like, you, you, if you take a look at everyone's grade, that does not compare whatsoever to their, like, skills, 
intelligence and ability to like problem solve. No, no, no. Grades in school purely measure your ability to do homework and memorize stuff for tests. It, it, like the grades, what they're supposed to do is tell you like how good of a student you are and how smart you are, but they don't do that whatsoever. Like there's like, I think there's like 15 different types of intelligence and school measures too. Like you should be taking into account like problem solving, you know, critical thinking skills, like not just like sci science tests. I'm attacking science a lot because I hate science so much, but like it's literally just, okay, memorize these notes wholly and fully until the test comes and then you can rewrite those notes down and that's going to determine how well you do in school like no 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 oh communications too they don't measure how well you get along with your peers and teacher no 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 it is purely measuring how good you are and memorizing stuff and that's just so stupid to me because kids will cheat kids will find their way to cheese the system to get the highest grade possible because it's so easy oh let me just text my friend to send them a picture of the homework look my grade's better now i'm a good student like it just it doesn't make sense to me that they're measuring you know a person's success success in school and then using that as a base to tell them how much of a scholarship they get to college purely based on their ability to memorize things and cheat off of homework it does not make sense to me teachers at this point you have to know if any teachers are watching this 90 percent of your class is cheating on homework and if you if you have online kids they are cheating on tests so basically the grades that you're giving them are completely poop they don't even mean anything okay so that's and then those grades are then translated into you know where you go to college, you know, how much scholarships you get, and basically the rest of their lives. So the fact that these grades that determine people's lives are just purely based off of bull, you know what, um, it, 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 it's just atrocious. And part three, I don't exactly know what to title this part three, but it's the lack of preparation for dealing with bad people in the outside world. Because, okay, think about it this way. Once you graduate high school, you are in the real world. There's no, like, they teach in the anti-bullying seminars, tell a trusted adult and they will take care of it. Nah, nah, nah. In the real world, you're not going to be able to tell a trusted adult. You are the adult. So if you get attacked, the school is not preparing you physically and mentally to deal with the ramifications of assholes. Like, assholes are one of the biggest diseases in this world. Like, people who just cook, kick you around for fun. And the schools just do not whatsoever prepare you for that. So... Me, Orange Peanut, just real quick um, detour, I'm going to tell you the, the best way to deal with assholes. If they're attacking you verbally, just don't give them the, the, re the reaction they want. Because assholes, what they do, they're assholes because they want to see you go. <laughs> so don't go like that. Just literally just either laugh it off, ignore it, or kick the shit out of them. You know, show them that, like, I, I don't know. And then physically, school does not teach you how to get into a fight. Like, you got to be able to deal with it if you know you get attacked in the street corner. Or even easier, buy some pepper spray. It's just like that school is not preparing you for the issues of the real world. Like, you know, in the world, there are going to be so many people that do not like you. And you got to be able to deal with that. And the only thing schools are saying is how to deal with that is, ah, tell your parents, tell a teacher. Like, snitches will get you stitches in the real world. If you If you try to, like, resort to, like, telling on people it's it's gonna get even worse for you so the fact that schools are teaching this and like thinking it's actually helping people is not helping whatsoever oh yeah i wasn't even gonna talk about this but it just kind of came to the noggin um mental health issues like depression anxiety what are schools doing to do that tell our counselor yeah i'm just gonna confide confide my deepest feelings into some 50 year old lady i don't even know no 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 they should be telling us how to our deal with it ourselves because when we go in the real world again we have to deal with issues ourselves when you have like mental issues that are really dragging you down like depression anxiety eating disorders whatever i don't even care what it is you need to be able to have the mental ramifications to deal with that pick yourself out of the mud and keep going in life and school's just saying tell the counselor like the counselor's not going to help you okay you have to be able to help yourself okay and school's just not doing that for you I guess I can do it for this. I could, I could even have a part two because there's more stuff I haven't touched upon. But, you know, my throat's getting dry because I've yelled so much in my car. A sip of water. But that's going to do it for this com Peanut Complains in a Car video. Hope you all enjoyed me yelling at a camera for 
uh, eight to ten minutes, and that's gonna do it. So I uh, thank you. I thank you all for watching. Hope you learned something. If any school board directors are watching this, I hope they are. Uh, maybe just Im implement little changes. We, you don't have to change everything right away. Just go in the right direction is what I'm saying. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Bye. Goodbye. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.